I use Forum Anifra to understand how a glacier in northeast Greenland responded to climate change thousands of years ago. But what are Forum Anifra? And why do we care what a glacier was up to in the past? Well, let me try and explain. Today, climate change is one of the most pressing issues that the world faces. We're all aware of that image of the lone polar bear floating on an iceberg somewhere at high latitudes. In fact, the Arctic is one of the most visible signs that our climate is changing. But in order to understand and predict what's going to happen in the future, we need to know what happened in the past. Unfortunately, we weren't always around to measure it. That's where Forum and Ifra come in. If you ask a small child where tigers or polar bears live, they'll probably be able to tell you. They might say that polar bears like the cold and that they're camouflaged in the snow and that tigers live in warm and hot countries. From a young age, we're taught about where different animals live and what environments they like to live in. Foraminifera are just the same, except these are tiny, single-celled, shelled organisms that live in our oceans, and you can't really see them without a microscope. When they die, their shells settle down to the seafloor and are preserved in the mud below. Just like tigers and polar bears, different species prefer different environments. Some like warmer water, some like colder water, some survive below ice and others don't. By looking at these shells preserved in the mud, we can try and understand something about the environment in which they once lived. Simply, they act like a time machine, telling us what the environment was like when they died. And this is what we found out. We found that there was a strong and sustained in input of warm water beneath the glacier in northeast Greenland that happened thousands of years ago. This was followed by the glacier's rapid melting, retreat and eventual collapse. It's a bit like putting an ice cube into a glass of water, or even a gin and tonic if you're lucky. It's going to be melted by the air, but also by the relatively warm water in the glass itself. And it's exactly the same for those glaciers that stretch out into the ocean in Greenland. But why is that important, and what does it tell us about the future? Well, today, climate change scientists are seeing an increase in the temperatures of, warm water, of water around much of Greenland. And this means that those glaciers that stretch out into the oceans are also going to be vulnerable to, the climate, to climate change. The societal impacts of this could be large. For example, as ice melts, sea level rise, and this affects people all around the globe. Foraminifera tell us that this happened in the past. So this means that it could happen again in the future. Just like that ice cube in the gin and tonic, finally melting and disintegrating into the liquid. Thank you.